what's up guys welcome back with another video this video is gonna be very special for those people actually who is loving with um, pixel experience room pixies west and some kinds of custom room and which is uh, non customizable actually uh, by default we don't get any extra customization even we don't get the traffic indicator so we have AOSP modes right now and really thanks to the builder uh, and developer uh, for this great work and I will show you just what's till the end full installation process and how does it work and every single customization I will explain so that you guys can easily use so let's get it started and here you guys can see I'm using here the Pixis West and I already uh, did the review so if you missed then just check out description and here is the Pixis West I'm using and you guys already know about that Pixis West uh, doesn't come with some extra customization even we don't have the traffic indicator in that room but I'm using right now everything in that room because of USB modes so let's get it started first of all let me explain and here you guys can see uh, at the bottom here the navigation pillar is a very bigger and wider and I made it just using USB mode so let's get it started and here is the USB mode you guys can see and I will show you the installation process later first of all let me explain and these are the extra customization which we get on some other custom ROMs but uh, some custom ROMs uh, comes with uh, less customization actually there is no customizations on that rooms so that we can use that's why this AOSP modes and quick status bar first of all if you want to make your LTE 4G icon you guys can change it force LTE or force 4G icon which icon you need you guys can just select and it will work and here you guys will be able to see a button and which is reload button when you enable one option just reload the button and your system UI will restart once and your problem will be solved and your uh, uh, options will be work so here is the combined signals if you want your signals in combination then just enable combined signal icons and show vibrate when you touch on a tile like this when you touch on a tile it will vibrate if you want that then just enable that feature otherwise leave I don't need that show number of unread messages if you enable this one you will be able to see that and here is the status bar height if you want default just keep it like this if you don't want and if you want a small medium whatever you can select that one and here I'm using the very older version which is canary build but I will provide you guys the latest link in description just check out AOSP mode and here is the correct left side padding you guys can check out the padding left side status bar clock customization you guys can select AMPM style which will be 100% size of the clock 70% size of the clock or hide whatever you need you guys can enable and show seconds if you want that you guys can also enable that feature and show day of week with clock if you want it's already hidden if you need then you guys can enable so many customizations are there I just don't want to waste your time you guys can install and uh, easily use that features and here is the battery icon size you guys can even change the battery icon size with different styles choose battery style you guys can get circle dash circle hidden whatever you guys can enable network monitor which is perfectly working and when you guys can select auto height threshold I already selected to 5 and my network connection is now below 5 so that's why it's not showing here when I will use internet it will be shown here so no issues with that and I checked everything is working there and let's check about quick settings panel very interesting thing here and if you uh, suppose you are using uh, and remember one thing if you are using Android 12, 12 L and have a version no problem you guys can easily use that modes and if you are below Android 12 then don't try this one and remember one thing uh, when you are using any Android 12 ROM with dark um, dark color uh, in the background uh, like uh, on notification uh, control center like pixel experience by default comes with uh, in dark mode 
uh, in the control center then you guys can enable uh, this feature light QS panel then your QS panel will be uh, in light mode so this is the way you guys can use that feature first one and the second one will be QS tile themes and if you want to enable there so many tiles icons are there like this just let me select the circle one and let me show you so it's boom wow very great feature and let me show you another one which one and it's changed which one you need just select just select and it will be changed so like this I think it's really great and you guys will be able to make it bold and make it thin so many customization are available and let me enable this one so this is it everything is working in that room no problem with that and here is the modify build text number in QS panel if you need then you can enable reduce QS tiles text size internet tile if you want reduce QS tiles text size then you guys can enable and use a thick track on brightness uh, hide brightness slider from quick settings if you want to hide your brightness slider from a uh, quick QS panel then you can enable this one no problem with that and quick pull down side right side if you just uh, scroll down on the swipe down on the right side you guys will get the quick QS panel no problem with that and here is the theming and of course so many fonts there you guys can select according to your choice which font you want so many fonts and here is the icon shapes you guys can change icon shapes these kind of icon shapes are there and here is the signal icon themes you guys can also uh, select zigzag whatever you need you guys can select and choose a style default choco x so many themes are there and then we have lock screen as usual some extra customizations and here is the navigation bar you guys can select gesture hide gesture hide and here is the uh, modify number build width and I already just did it uh, 142 percent of default size so it got bigger and if you want to make it more bigger you guys also able to do that so, and if you want accent color register pill that means according to your wallpaper color your navigation pill bar will be changed so this is really great feature and here is the android taskbar default you guys can select android uh, taskbar force enable whatever you need you guys can do that then we have here the miscellaneous custom themed icons if you want to use custom themed icons then enable that feature otherwise leave disable screenshot sound you guys can do that long press to torch uh, just requires activation of system framework in a response uh, use with caution so if you enable that feature and you will be able to uh, on the torch by pressing and holding your power button and long press volume to skip music you can also do that and double tap to wake phone disable single tap to wake you guys can uh, easily use that feature so I hope this is gonna be a great thing for you guys this is really really great really great if you want to use then you guys can of course do that and now let's talk about how we guys can install that thing of course your device must be rooted with magix manager and you guys uh, will be needed uh, aosp modes and update is available so that's great and another one will be chaijis ls post we need that uh, files so first of all you need to install chaijis ls post and then aosp most uh, ASP mode then just uh, reboot your device and you are good to go so installation process just watch the installation process and before you start the installation process after rebooting uh, when you are done with installation then open uh, when you open your device for the first time you guys will get that quick setup menu uh, after booting for the first time just click on add to home screen when you just click on add to home screen you guys will get that ls post which is installed on magisk so just then open ls post and you will be able to see ls post here and aosp mode here first remember one thing when you just 
uh, open your device for the first time don't open AOSP modes just open LS post when you open LS post then go to here the module section and you guys will get the AOSP modes and you guys will get it turned off by default then you need to just enable this module just enable the module and then get back and then you are good to go with AOSP modes just open this one and use any feature you want so this is it now watch the installation process